We're just finishing up on our simplicity block and it is really simple. Look at this. It's only half square triangles, but lots of them. There's 12, that's the dark blue and the black, and only four in the center that has the light blue and the dark blue together. Very, very cute. Look at that. This is going good. So do you have my last four that I need? I do. I have them right here. All right. All right. And I also have a little waste basket here <laughs> that I can put my extra oh, pieces in. Oh, and you're changing <laughs> your ways. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to take a minute and just talk about a little bit of die maintenance. So I've been cutting a lot of these half square triangles you now. Have. And it can happen that you can get threads in the little corners there, and you want to make sure that you clean those out. Mm -hmm. So you, we have a tool, a little die pick tool here, and uh, this is a simple tool that you can just use. You just go in there and you just clean out those threads and that will, keep your, that will keep your die nice and clean and cutting uh, for a long period of time. Another great trick here is that if you take a lint roller and just uh, roll that a couple of times oh. across the foam, that takes those threads right up. That is a good idea. All right, so it's always good and, to... And is there a life on the die, like a number of passes you can do or any statistics like that? If you take good care of your dies, they should last for hundreds of cuts, Ooh. maybe even thousands. It's just you can, you can get a, a lot of use out of these dies. And I also wanted to point out, Eleanor, that sometimes you do get a thread right. um, there. So you ha keep a little pair of scissors next to your machine and you can just snip that thread and that's really um, just easy to do. And that's it. That's all it takes. That, very simple. That's good. Very, very simple. And thank heavens, it's nothing that's really me too mechanical. That's why I like the AccuCo cutter because it's it's like there's no big learning curve. You know, you just you could just sit down and just do it. That's right. It's very simple to use. It's very, very simple. Yeah, and even the kids can use it. That was really fun. Okay, so let me just cut. And now we're going to talk about pressing. We're going to do something special. We have two different colors here. We have the light blue on top and the dark blue. We're going to press toward the light blue. And then when we get to the dark black and the dark blue, press towards the black. OK. So now we're making it tricky. All right. So we want the blue on top. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we want the blue on top. I have just a few more. OK. Um, Lynn, I only ever heard about one die needing replaced, and it was obvious. A teacher told me that she had the whole class use that die for rag cutting, for rags, for mm -hmm. those cutting the rag patches, you know, all the fringed edges. Right. She had every student use one die, and every student made a whole quilt. And she said she needed to write to you and have it replaced. But I think that's that's understandable, don't you think? That she got a lot of use out she of that die, sure didn't she? She sure did. She sure did. And I, I, I thought that's great. All right, so let me see. Oh, you're so careful. Oh, my goodness. So let's switch over and get okay. me some of the light. All right. So, oops, there's your cutting gizmo. Oh, yes. Here, I'll cut on this end and you can go ahead and press on the okay. other end. We'll do a little teamwork here. So I found out that I just keep, keep my cutting gizmo on my ironing board because I am constantly looking for my scissors. And then I'm usually wearing them or something like that. Do you do that? I do that too. I'll, I'll never forget them. the time I was like this talking, talking, going, where's my cell phone? Where's my cell phone? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's, you can just go crazy. Okay, one more and I'm gonna cut that one too. All right. Good job. Okay. So this could be a lot of fun to do as a class um, or teamwork. And this is what I found. Like if you're working with a quilt group and you have a, a whole bunch of different members, mm -hmm. if you cut all of your blocks out together, on your AccuQuilt Go, mm -hmm. then all the pieces are the same size in the group, and then the whole quilt goes together. That's what's really nice. Okay, so let's look at this. So right here, I just want to show you, this is pressed toward this uh, dark, 
away from the light and the one beside it, we have the same piece. Okay, it's gonna go like this. Well, the beauty of this pressing is that when you flip these right sides together, then they just lock. And whenever they lock, see one is going down, one's going up on the back. And whenever you work with your fingers, I always just put them together with my fingers and feel. And whenever it's flat, then you'll know that it's locked together. I'm just gonna show you one piece and then I'm gonna have to go back and do that whole block. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna see if I wanna show you. Ooh, look at that. See how that's matched perfectly in there? Locking helps. It does a good job.